Arbor and I am Lucy in the Stack Studio, my friends. Clive told me I could do whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted, with whoever I wanted. I never said that. Anywho, after Clive gave me the reins, I was thinking to myself about what kind of a show I wanted to make and then it hit me like a sack of potatoes. What's my one true love in life? Food. Food. So my friends, I invite you to sink your telly taste buds into the beginning of a brand new food adventure. It's Arvis Kitchen! We're gonna turn the heat up on foods from around the world. This is the arena where two dishes compete for glory and this beautiful, custom-made, totally one-of-a-kind trophy. So let's reveal the ingredient of the day which has to appear in both dishes. Clive, will you do the honours, please? Avocado! But because I'm doing the cooking, I can't do the judging. So who's it going to be today, Clive? Drew! He loves his avocados, but hold up a delicious second. Before we get to meet our two avo dishes, we have to go back and learn how the avocado came to be. Rewind time! <laughs> oh, wait, stop there! So, get this. Some people think the avocado dates back to a time when megafauna were roaming the planet. I said megafauna, not dinosaurs. But you know, when mammoths and giant horses and all of that became extinct, the avocado nearly went with it. Word on the street is ancient farmers saved it so we could still enjoy its tasty avo goodness today. Over the years, avocados have been called so many things. The Aztecs called it ayucato, the Spanish called it aguacate, and the Jamaicans called it the alligator pear, which, if you ask me, is a super cool name. Today, it's used in squillions of food all over the world. But some people, including me, still mistake avos for veggies. Hey, veggie friend! Hey, I'm, I mean, like, you're cool and all, but you can't sit with us. Oh, okay. But they're not. Avos are fruit. You can sit with us! <laughs> Woo! Wow! Yeah! Because of their fleshy pulp and seed, they fit the botanical criteria for a berry. Hashtag big berry mood. After that became common knowledge, people started throwing them in dips, desserts and smoothies. Which brings us to our first contender of Arva's Kitchen. It's guacamole! <laughs> this yummy avo mush hails from South America, all thanks to the Aztecs. I love guac, and to make it you need very little. A couple of ripe avos, lime, onion and a chopped tomato. And then you mix it all together. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. Ta-da! I may have overmixed it, <laughs> but I'm sure it'll taste better than it looks. Up next, we've got a drink that I've always wanted to try. It's Juice Alpukat. This Indonesian delight is the OG Avo smoothie. I mean, the name literally translates to avocado juice. And lucky for me, this recipe is pretty simple too. All you need is milk, condensed milk, a couple of ripe avos, a bit of ice, and some chalky sauce. All right, now we're just gonna pop it all in the blender. Avocado, four ice cubes. So sweet and yummy. Oh, yum, that looks beautiful. Oh, I can't wait for Drew to try this. <laughs> You really dressed for the occasion, Droopy. <laughs> All right, first up is my homemade guacamole. Ooh, I'm just gonna get in there, right? What are we thinking, Drew? I give you five out of five avocado! Yes! Put it here, high five! Yes! yes! All right, give it a go, Droopy. Who 
is taking home Avo Glory, Drew? I'm giving this four out of five avocados, which means the guac is the winner! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Arva's Kitchen. Who knows what dishes will be grilled next time? We'll see you then. Bye! Bye.